Hello everyone, this is Kansas City Academy. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about circuits. We are going to consider both parallel and series circuits. Now let's consider a circuit with a 10 volt voltage source connected across a resistor, say 5 ohms. Now the voltage source is going to drive current through the resistor and we want to find the value of i flowing through the resistor now the approach leads to a very important and a very popular concept we call ohm's law ohm's law in simple terms states that the voltage across a resistor is directly proportional to the current that flows through it and it is given by the expression v is equal to ir now v is the voltage across the resistor and i is the current flowing through the resistor and r is the resistance of the resistor now having this formula and considering this circuit then we can find the value of i or the current flowing through the resistor now using ohm's law we have 10 that's our voltage is equal to i the current flowing through the resistor multiplied by the resistance of the resistor 5 ohms now we divide both sides of the equation by 5 and we get our current to be 2 amperes. Now let's talk about the relationship between V, I, and R. Let's maintain the value of V and increase the resistance, that's R. And let's see how the current behaves. Now we have V already to be 10 volts, with I to be 2 amperes, and then R to be 5 ohms. Now maintaining the value of the voltage, then we have 10 is equal to I. And we are going to increase the value of the resistance from 5 to 10 ohms. So we have 10 here. And then we divide both sides of the equation by 10. And we get I to be 1 ampere. Now we notice here that at constant V, an increase in the resistance results in a decrease in the current. So we can conclude that R and I are inversely related. They are inversely proportional to each other. Now, let's increase the value of V and maintain the value of R. And let's see how the current also behaves. Now, we are going to increase the value of V from 10 to 20. So we have our V here to 20 volts. And then we are going to maintain the value of R that's 5 ohms. Now, using Ohm's law, V is equal to IR, then 20 is equal to I multiplied by 5. Now, we divide both sides of the equation by 5, and we get I to be 4 amperes. Now, we notice here that an increase in V results in an increase in I. Thus, if you have a circuit with a very high voltage, then it is going to draw a very high current through the load in summary an increase in the resistance results in a decrease in the current that's if you have a very high resistance then a small amount of current is going to flow through that resistor and an increase in the voltage results in an increase in the current now let's talk about series circuits let's consider a circuit with a 5 volt voltage source connected across two series resistors R1 being 1 ohm and then R2 being 4 ohms now as usual we have the voltage driving current I through the resistors now the circuit the arrangement of the resistors in the circuit is such that we have the same current flowing through them now, what you need to know here is that for series circuits or resistors connected in series, the same current flows through them. In order to find the value of I or the current flowing through the two resistors, we need to find the equivalent resistance of the two resistors R1 and R2. Now, their equivalence is given by their sum. So that as we have two resistors here, then their total or their equivalent is given by R1 plus R2. So we have our R1 to be 1 ohm plus R2 
to be 4 ohms. That gives us 5 ohms. So the total resistance is 5 ohms. Now, to find the value of I, then we are going to use Ohm's law. Ohm's law is given by the expression V equals IR. Now, we know the value of V to be 5. And then we have I multiplied by R, which is also 5 ohms. Now, we divide both sides of the equation by 5. And then we have I to be 1 ampere. And from Kirchhoff's voltage law, um, we know that the sum of the voltage drops across the resistors in a closed loop is directly proportional to the applied voltage so that we can find the value of the voltage across R1 and R2. Now, using Ohm's law, the value of V1 is equal to the current I flowing through the two resistors multiplied by the resistor R1. And it's equal to 1 multiplied by 1 ohm. And we have V1 to be 1 volt. Now for V2, V2 is also equal to I multiplied by R2. Now we have I to be 1 ampere multiplied by R2, which is 4 ohms. And then we have V2 to be 4 volts. Now we notice here that the sum of the voltage drops, that's V1 and then V2, is equal to the applied voltage, 5 volts. That's 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Now let's talk about parallel circuit. Let's consider having a 5 volt voltage source connected to two resistors. We have R1 being 1 ohm, and then we have R2 being 4 ohms. Now let's have a junction A here. Now the connection of the two resistors is such that we have the same voltage that's the 5 volts being expressed across them. Now because the two resistors have the same voltage being expressed across them, then they are connected in parallel. Secondly, let's assume that we have current I approaching this junction. Now at this junction, the current is going to split so that we have I1 flowing in this direction. That's through R1 and then I2 also flowing through R2. Now, because we have two different currents flowing through the respective resistors, then we can conclude that the two resistors are in parallel. Finally, because we can go through the two resistors without passing through any other circuit elements, then the two resistors are connected in parallel. Now, let's try to find the current I flowing through R1 and R2. Now, using Ohm's law, which is V equals I multiplied by R. We know I is equal to V divided by R. Now, because the 5 volt is expressed across each of the two resistors, to find the value of I1, then I1 will be equal to 5 divided by 1, which is the 1 ohm resistor. Now, I1 is 5 amperes now to find the value of i2 i2 is also equal to 5 that is the voltage across the resistor r2 divided by the resistance that is 4 ohms now we have i2 to be 1.25 amperes 